Alright, in this front pocket of my tackle box is all my plastic baits. Like, all my. Sankos, Sankos, Sankos. How many Sankos you got? And in this side part over here, oh, fish. I have and my sports. line. Uh, yeah, I got some line. <laughs> and then in this other side pocket. Got hooks. Didn't even know I had that. I got weights out there. Yeah. And then in this big pocket, I got a crawfish, some spinner baits. Okay, I don't really have any spinner baits in there. But so whatever, you know. If Sometimes I had spinner you know. baits, that's where I would put them. It happens. And this is my jigs. A little jig and then some little jigs. But yeah, not really a lot in there. Got some catfish hooks. Oh, here, here we go. You got yeah. a catfish hook that is cut. I got a chatter bait with a weird trailer on it, but it works. <laughs> Caught a couple bass off that. And then, and this bigger, I got a little bit of a bigger thing. And I got a couple lures in there, some top water, but really not a lot in here either. But, yep. And I have this. Never, ever used one of these before. I don't know how it would work or whatever, but worth a shot. What is this? Mm -hmm. All right, now with Luke's tackle box, tackle bag. So, in the lunch. lunch box, got a pack of food for an all-day trip. It's like it's just a bunch of worms. Yeah. Got well, these are so we can get them Okay, so in the front pouch, We got a scale, clippers, pliers, scissors, needle nose pliers, Carolina rig, multi tool, and some screws, but I don't know where they came from. And mine. So then, in the bigger pouch, we have. Hooks and weights. I have a question. And Why do you have this? Why do I have toothpicks? Oh, you gotta poke through To peg place. your weights so they don't move. Oh. I use all his stuff. Yeah. That's yeah. why I don't have anything in my tackle box. But. In here, I just have a bunch of cut weights. Oh, yeah, I know. Recently, I've been using his Senkos because I have three. So, Blaine, I'm using your Senko. No, he has two. Two and a half, I guess. In here, wow. I'm running short on top water baits. I got two frogs, three frogs, two spooks, and a buzz bait in there. I have one of your frogs. And that's where they're disappearing to, guys. And in here, I got some jerk baits and lipless crank baits, and then a bunch of spinner baits and jigs and chatter baits and all. This right here came out of an MTB mystery tackle box. Yeah, go check them out if y'all haven't. 
already ordered something. They're good. Okay, well that's it. Now we're gonna review some of the baits we have in our tackle box. This is what I like to use. These always catch fish, wacky rig Senkos. And these are happen to be my favorite two colors. They're not always big fish, but they catch fish. And this is my second favorite thing I have in my tackle box. I always catch fish off this as well. It's just chatter bait. And for deeper water and mid water, I like to use this rattle trap. It catches fish. And in bigger ponds, I like to use this square bill bluegill for bigger ponds. And I like to run this over. Like I just like to run this through my grandma's pond too. As an example, it all has crawfish in it and it catches bass as they see it. And for top water, I like to use a popper. And my buddy has this bait. I've never really used it. He told me to get one. And he's always caught fish off of them, but I never have used it. And this is my favorite kind of line to use. Extra smooth trialing. And now Luke, you know. All right, so same with the wacky rig. Love wacky rig. It catches fish. Maybe not a big fish, but it catches fish. Also, I like using this crawfish, this soft plastic crawfish, to run over beds during spawn. It always catches fish. On big lakes, I flip docks with the old monster. It usually works. For just whenever, all time of the year, this is my favorite bait, this chatter bait. Always works. Spinner bait, I've always liked spinner baits. They've always been good to me. For top water, I like spooks for open water, but not so much as where I like this in grassy areas. This is my favorite top water. Also in big lakes around docks and stuff. I love the buzz bait. I like the jig, the swim jig right here for fishing heavy stuff or braid, like structures, logs, whatever. I love that. I like this, the shad color square bell crankbait for like rip wrap on big lakes. And also I like this jerk bait for deep water. And these are also some nice scissors Luke likes to use. Alright guys, so if you want more videos like this, just leave it in the comments like what kind of videos you want. And if you want to see us fishing with the baits we just showed y'all, just let us know. And don't forget to like and subscribe and well, we'll see y'all next time. See you next time. Alright guys, so if you want more videos like these, <laughs> more, more, restart! More fishing videos. Restart it!